So there are big changes going on in Magaluf this winter and as we move on into 2024 I'm going to show you an example of a few hotels that are going through some major renovations for the new season here which will lead you to all suggest as has been predicted as has been reported that Magaluf is going to be turning into more of a family holiday destination it's going to be turning into more of a premium destination too and the first example of that lies right behind me. Now you can see right behind me, we're looking at the BH Mallorca Hotel over here in Magaluf. And of course, many of you have come over here on holiday. It's a big party destination. It's a big stag and hen destination as well. Um, it's always been a really popular young adults hotel. But for 2024, this is going to be turning into more of a family hotel. And it's due to a massive investment by the Fergus Hotel Company. They've ploughed in 20 million euros into redevelopments of hotels over here in Magaluf and it's now going to be called the Fergus Club at Mallorca Water Park Hotel. So you can see the signage hasn't quite gone up behind me yet and of course they're making renovations as we go on through the winter but this hotel is going to be transformed into a four-star hotel. It's going to be about around 450 rooms here and of course the real big draw with this hotel in the past has been the several swimming pools and also the water park and the slides this is it has had but now this is going to be more of a family hotel it's going to have its own water park for kids and it opens here on May the 16th so of course moving into 2024 over here it remains to be seen as well whether they're going to do what the BH Mallorca did last year and offer day passes over here so you can come in and enjoy a few drinks and also enjoy the water park too I suspect they will do but it's going to be interesting to see what happens to this hotel and what it's going to look like inside I wonder if I'm going to get a chance to have a look inside this hotel this year fingers crossed that I can do but um, as you can see it's going to be big changes I can see there's a three star sign over here on the wall it was a three-star hotel we're moving into a four-star category band here it means it's going to be more expensive it's going to be a more of a premium offering and so of course the whole holiday is going to cost you a lot more let me know in comments below what your thoughts are about this whether you're happy that this hotel here is going to be turned into more of a family affair and also whether you intend coming as well this summer but it's not just the bh mallorca hotel over here which is undergoing a huge change because we're going to take a walk down the road as well i'm going to show you where further investment is being made and also what the new hotel names are going to be as well. So we're just coming up to the corner of Carrere Blanc onto where we can see the Club B BH Mallorca Hotel. Now this is all part of the huge changes as well. It's been taken over by the Fergus and this is going to be the new tent Calvia Beach and this is also going to be for families. Now as you can see that this is also undergoing loads of restoration here. There's a lot of mess outside but we're looking forward to what's going to be a really lovely new hotel in the future and once again this is going to be family orientated too. They're going to be around well around 300 units here maybe just a little bit under and they're also going to offer the very popular offering that they have over in Palmanova at the tent hotel in Palmanova. They're going to have the unlimited brunch offering as well so if you don't make it up early, early or in time for breakfast then you can have a very very late breakfast rolling into lunch as well which is just a fantastic concept. Many other hotels should adopt it I must say. As with the Fergus Club at Mallorca Water Park Hotel, Benny Hills is just further on the corner, just a little bit down here, and you're about another five minute walk from the beach. So I can hear some drilling going on here. Lots of re refurbishments being made. You can see up in the balconies as well. I think they're ripping the flooring out of the furniture. Of course, there's going to be a price difference to previous years as well, but it should be a really, really lovely hotel. Okay, so let's keep walking through Mangaloof and I'm going to take you to another hotel as well, which is going to be part of the changing face of Mangaloof. And in front of me here, we've just come up to the former BH Mojito Beach Club Apartments. And this is going to be turned into the Tent Mojito Suites and this is also going to be for families. Now the Tent Mojito Suites will be around 120 rooms. Now also this establishment too, you can book on a bed and unlimited brunch basis, which is great news. 
But check it out, look, I've got lots going on here. They're completely renovating all the rooms. As you can see here, look, they're pulling out bits of furniture too. I think it's gonna be a really super nice family accommodation here over in Magaloo for the summer. And it's quite quiet as well, because right round the back of the resort too. So all I can hear are cockerels that are crowing over here at the moment. And I think it's gonna be a quite a nice, pleasant atmosphere going on into summer 2024. It's just coming down the side of the property here that you can see the outdoor swimming pool here. Amazingly, it's still got water in it, which I'm quite surprised by. But it looks like quite a nice, nice hotel here. And this is what I mean by being on the back edge of Magaluf. You're not too far a walk from pirates here either. Just having a very quick look around the front of the property as well. Okay, lots of drilling, lots of banging going on. So got lots more renovations taking place as part of this whole rebranding exercise. And if you wish to book this property as well, well, this is going to be available from June the 6th. Now, I am gonna put links to these hotels in the description text below as well. Go and check them out. If you do book using those links as well, you'll also help support the channel. Normally have the best prices as well, so go and check them out. Okay, so that's the update from this side of Magaluf, but we can't leave the resort behind without heading onto the beach. Let's go and get some nice views. Let's go and get a quick update as well from the waterfront. I'm just coming up past the Sol Guadalupe here. Very nice hotel. Look, it barely looks closed actually. So I'll quickly pop the camera over the top just so you can have a quick look in. This is an enormous hotel. Very, very popular in the summer months too. Anyway, let's get going down towards the beach. So we've just come down to what is a very quiet and very empty Magaluf beach this afternoon and what an absolutely gorgeous day. It did start off being a little bit cloudy and we had highs around 10 to 12 degrees. Still a little bit cold, a little bit of a breeze has come up but we're going to head on now down in this direction, just down in front of the beach. So I know I've got a lot of regular viewers who come over to Magaluf every single year, maybe once or even twice as well, if not more. But tell me what you think about these hotels being renovated for this year. Do you think this is a good thing? Do you think it's a good thing that a lot of the hotels are being made more family friendly? Do you think it's also good that they're trying to attract a higher level of premium tourism over here? And do you think it will work? Will people actually want to come to Magaluf with the reputation that it has? Or do you think this reputation is going to change over time also if you are a regular i'd love to know your thoughts too will you be coming back as many times as you have done in the past have you booked again for the future let me know in comments I'm, i am intrigued so you can see we're just coming past a very empty ancla verde and up towards the Puerto Rico bar as well. How different all of this looks in the winter. I must admit, winter does tend to drag on a little bit down here, so I can't wait till we start to see things opening up again. But for the time being, we can see everything is being locked down. We've got these uh, fences put up all around the properties. It's looking a little bit of a sorry sight over here in Magaluf today. So as we turn around here, you can just see the Melia inside the rooftop swimming pool here. That's also been emptied for the winter. But I think the biggest change that is taking place over here, which you may well know about, is over at Tom Brown's. The beach bar over here, the very, very popular beach bar and grill. Now there's an extension taking place and it's going to knock through to the neighbouring Happy House. You would have seen it previously on my videos where they do the famous two euro pint. Will pints be two euros over here this summer? I doubt it. But you can see renovations have started. 
I've had a few questions about this actually, which I'm going to try and find some answers to. So make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. I'll try and bring you some more updates from over here as well to help you plan for your holiday for the summer. But this is going to be an absolutely huge bar. It's going to be absolutely brilliant. I know they do a fantastic breakfast too. So definitely worth checking out and look at the views as well. Look what you can look forward to if you're coming over here to Magaluf this summer, just the most amazing views. And of course, I'm going to be down here as well filming my live streams, filming more videos so that you know what to expect as we go on into the summer. So very soon the signage is going to be coming down, the happy place signage is going to be coming down. But there is another bar down here, right further down on Magaluf Beach, much, much further down actually. So the happy place or the happy house, there is a second bar and restaurant and that's going to be staying put further on down in Magaluf Beach. You can't hear a single thing here today except for the, the sound of drilling. There's no one around, there's no music, there's absolutely nothing. It's got such an eerie presence to it today. See a few families are over on the beach though, which is quite nice to see. So just coming up past the Sol Wave House too, we can hear this drilling. You can see a lot of scaffolding as well, right on the front of the Sol Wave House too. So many more changes going on here. Of course, there were huge changes that went on here last year. It remains to be seen what's been done to the property for this summer. And just look at how fast and empty the beach is here today. Okay, everyone, that's just a very quick look at Magaluf today and the changing face of this very notoriously hot spot over here in Mallorca. Now, don't forget, I've got more content on my channel, which you can go back and look at as well, particularly if you're interested in visiting Magaluf Strip. I, I visited the Strip quite a few times last year. You can see what it's like. Is it going to be the same this summer? Who knows? But one thing's for sure, I'm going to be down there and I'm going to be checking it out too. So don't forget to consider subscribing to my channel as well. You can also find find me in the Facebook group and on my Instagram, also called at Mallorca Under the Sun. And I've got more information on my website on MallorcaUnderTheSun.com. So do go ahead and check that out. Thanks for watching everyone. I shall see you in the next video. Goodbye for now.